I'm Elizabeth LeBeau with About.com Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make cake pops, delicious bite-sized pieces of cake on a stick. To make these cake pops, you will need one cake baked in a 13 by 9 pan, one tub of frosting or about two cups, 12 ounces of candy coating, and lollipop sticks. Begin by breaking up the cake into fine crumbs. This recipe is really flexible and actually you can use any flavor of cake or even substitute muffins or quick bread instead. Whatever you use, work the cake until it's entirely crumbled. Now take your frosting, and again using any flavor you like, and mix it in. You can use a spoon, but in the end I think it's easier, although messier, just to use your hands. I always reserve a little of the frosting because I don't always need it. The exact amount needed will depend on the moistness of the cake. You want the final mixture to be fairly moist and to easily hold itself together when you shape it into a ball, but not so moist that it's soggy or gooey. Roll the cake into small balls using a teaspoon or a small cookie scoop. You should get between three to four dozen balls depending on how large you make them. Set them aside on a cookie sheet lined with wax paper. Once they're all formed, put them in the freezer to harden for about an hour to make them easier to dip. While you're waiting for the cake balls to harden, melt the candy coating in the microwave and stir until it's entirely melted and smooth. After an hour, remove the cake balls from the freezer. Use a skewer or a toothpick to poke holes in the balls. Then dip the end of the lollipop stick into the melted coating and stick it into the hole you just created. The melted coating will help hold the stick in the cake pop. Once all of the cake balls are on sticks, it's time to dip them. Hold one end of the lollipop stick and submerge the cake pop completely in the melted coating. Take it out and gently tap it and swirl it upside down to remove the excess coating. If you don't, it will drip down the stick and look pretty terrible. Now you can just stick them upside down on a baking sheet to set, but this does give them flat tops. So if you want rounded tops, you'll need to find some styrofoam or florist foam to stick your cake pops in while they dry. Continue dipping them until all of your cake pops are covered with candy coating. If it starts to get too stiff from the cold pops, you can rewarm it in the microwave briefly. If you want to decorate them, you can drizzle them with melted white chocolate or add sprinkles or chopped nuts while the coating is still wet. These cake pops are really unique, really fun, and really tasty. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit us on the web at food.about.com.